Hi, what is up YouTubers? Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot and repair a lithium ion battery pack. I have one here, I believe, came out of a hoverboard. And I'm going to go ahead and figure out what's wrong with it. So the first step, I'm going to go ahead and check for voltage. So I have a multimeter. Just so you can see the screen, just like this. And then right here. And as you can see, there is nothing showing zero volt. So we probably have a broken connection or a dead cell or maybe just a bad uh, BMS which is the board that controls the charge and discharge so we're gonna go ahead and open the battery up and uh, see what's wrong with it Alright, so now we have a bare battery and we can go ahead and troubleshoot it. So here we have the single cells and a counting total 20 cells. Uh, so it's going to be a 10S 2P configuration for 36 volt battery. So when this battery pack is fully charged, it's going to be 42 uh, volt because each cell is uh, 4.2 volts when fully charged. We have 10 um, in series and two in parallel. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and check each cell and make sure that uh, there is no dead cells in the pack. So we're gonna check the first set. We're going to have 10 sets in total, so the first set right here. And we can see that this is already showing 0 volts. We need to check the second one, it's going to be the same because they are in parallel, as you can see. Then the next battery, this one is also dead which is interesting let's go to the next set which we're gonna have to remove the tape this is there for installation just like this So we don't have nothing here either. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing. Uh, 
That is interesting. It seems to be a completely dead battery pack. It probably sat for way too long. Nothing here either. Nothing here. Nothing. And nothing. So, in conclusion, this whole battery pack is wasted. I was hoping that there would be just a couple of batteries to swap out and get this battery pack going. But unfortunately, there is uh, nothing going for it. It's uh, completely dead. So uh, I can just go ahead and plug a charger to it just to see what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so this is a 10S battery charger that I have uh, modified. So I'm able to uh, connect an XT60 connector directly to it because I used to have a barrel jack connector. So here we have a green LED. If it is charging, it's gonna turn red. So let's go ahead and connect it. Red for a split second, then back to green. Interesting. Alright, so I uh, guess this battery is completely done. So, uh, in this case, you're gonna make sure you dispose this the right way. You're gonna check how to recycle it in your uh, country. It's not to be thrown in the garbage, so you want to make sure you dispose this the right way, recycle it according to local laws. Now you can revive these batteries if you have the single cell charger, which I actually have. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, attempt recovering these batteries. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to just go ahead and dismantle it and have loose cells so I can use the chargers. So yeah, let's see how it goes. So as you can see here, I'm able to revive the batteries uh, individually using these chargers. I'm able to test them and after the test is done, I just write the capacity on the batteries as you can see here. And they still have quite some capacity to them. These were originally uh, 2000 milliamp battery cells and as you can see, I have an average of 1600 milliamp hours. So these batteries still have some life in them. I can still use them for uh, anything really. I can use them to rebuild the battery pack or I can just use them loosely like this in flashlights, vapes. I don't vape but you could you could use it for that if you do vape. And yeah, I'm about to load more batteries onto the other charger. So yep, this is how I managed to revive the cells. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section. Till then, I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.